hey guys Ron I'm back here with new video and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can create an e-commerce website with Google Sites for free if you have a small shop even if you have a big store you probably want to take your business online and this is the right video for you guys in this video I'll walk you through step-by-step -step process how you can create your own e-commerce website with Google Sites this is gonna be a simple e-commerce website if you're looking for advanced features then you can watch this video you can find the same video link in the description box of this video as well so without wasting more time let's get started and let's take a look at what kind of website that we are going to create in this video all right guys so this is the website that we are going to create in this video if you look at here you can see we have this nice menu you can add any category into this menu and you can see we have sub menu as well if you look at the left side we have logo and we have name of our website below that you can see we have a three slider images if you want to add more images you can do that as well and below that we have this search product box your customer can search any product from your e-commerce website by typing any keyword if you look at here you can see we have just arrived section and these are the products that we have into our e-commerce website when you hover your mouse over any product you will see this nice looking pop-up animation and we have the title we have price and we have the buy now button below each product if you keep scrolling down you can see we have three pages we have my account page we have track order page we have shopping back page by going to my account page people can edit their profile something like they can change their billing information they can change their shipping information their email and their phone number something like that and by going to the track orders they can track their order when they place an order from your website in the shopping bag people can add as many product into their shopping bag and then by going to the shopping bag they can proceed to the checkout to buy that product right if you keep scrolling down you can see we have this newsletter section your customer can subscribe to your website newsletter by typing their email and all they have to do is they have to click on subscribe button to subscribe to your website newsletter which is awesome and below that we have these icons that represent free delivery free return and need help and money back guarantee which is very useful icons that you should have on your website and finally we have the footer area in the footer area we have the copyright section here you can add the important pages of your website something like about us terms and condition page return policy page contact us page and privacy policy page so this is the website that we are going to create in this video so if you are excited to let's go ahead and create this beautiful e-commerce website with google sites all right guys to create e-commerce website with google sites perform a google search for google sites open first website if you don't have google account you can create a new one by clicking on create account button it's pretty straightforward just type your full name your email your password and your account will be created since I already have Google account I'm gonna log in now click on got it okay so this is the place where we can start building our website if you look at here you can see these are the templates that we can use to build our website let's start with blank template now click on skip tour and close this first of all you have to type your website name next let's go to themes here you can choose your color below that you can change your font style and if you scroll down you can see we have different types of design here so I'm happy with this simple design next I'm gonna delete this text let's go to insert tab I'm gonna insert image carousel click here to add images click on upload image so I'm gonna add my three images that I already prepared and this is the resolution of this image you can see 9020 into 570 so I'm gonna select my three images by holding down shift and click open and then click on this gear icon and I'm gonna check this box auto start transition speed should be slow then click on insert now I'm gonna drag and drop this right here let's increase the size I'm gonna remove that section by clicking on the delete button so now all we have 
this section right here okay next I'm gonna change the background color to do it let's have your mouse over here select image now go to search here type white click on search select white color and click select wait for a few seconds and you will see the magic now this slider will automatically blend with the background okay next we are going to add a logo let's have your mouse over here click on add logo now click on upload if you want to design a logo for your e-commerce website you can watch this video anyways let's go ahead select your logo click open scroll down click on upload select the same logo here you can type the alt text that would be SEO friendly so this is kind of keyword you can type whatever keyword you want let's close this next we are going to add menus over here to do it let's go ahead click on pages by default we have only one page which is home page let's go ahead create more pages by clicking on this plus icon now type your page name I'm gonna type t-shirt click done now hover your mouse over t-shirts and click on these three dots and then click on add sub pages now I'm gonna type for men then click done again let's click on this three dot alongside t-shirts and then click on add sub page I'm gonna type for women and then click done next click over here and then click on this plus icon now we are going to create page for swing bag then click done next click over here and create a new page now I'm gonna type shirts and then click done now hover your mouse over shirts and click on this three dot and create a sub page for men click done again hover your mouse over shirts click on these three dots and add sub page once again this time for women and then click done so in the same way you can add as many pages as you want you can create as many subcategories as you want now if you have your mouse over here you can see we have this drop down menu right now we are going to create important pages for our e-commerce website first let's click on home and then click on this plus icon now we are going to create contact us page then click done now we are going to hide this contact us page from this menu we don't want to appear this contact us page on our main menu okay to hide this page let's click on this three dot and then click on hide from navigation the page is still there but it will not appear on your menu okay let's create a new page let's go to home and click on new page this time privacy policy page then click done hide this page as well so I'm gonna create more important pages so I'm gonna speed this video up and I'll come back once I create more important pages a few moments later Alright guys, so you can see I have created 6 important pages for our e-commerce website. You can create as many pages as you want for your e-commerce website. But I think this is more than enough. If I need it, I will create more pages for my e-commerce website. Right? Next thing you have to do, you have to add the contents into these pages one by one. To do it, let's go ahead click on insert. Next, let's add a text box. Now start typing your content. Alright, so we have added the content into shipping and delivery page. Let's go to the next page. Let's open the terms and condition page. Let's add the content into terms and condition page. Just double click over here and add a text and start typing your content. Alright, once you do it, let's go to return policy page. Let's add a content into this page as well. Double click, click on this text box and start typing your content. Alright guys, so here if you have noticed that we have this custom email for our return policy if you want to know how to create this custom email for free you can check out this video or you can go to the description box of this video to learn how to create this custom email for free so guys I'm going to add the content on each pages one by one and I'm gonna speed this video up and I'll come back once I done Twenty minutes later all right I have added the content into each pages except the contact us page and now let me show you how you can create your own contact us page to do it 
Let's open your contact us page. Here we will add a Google form. If you go to insert tab, here you can see we have few elements that we can add into our pages. But in this contact us page, we will add this Google form. First of all, open up a new tab and perform a Google search for Google forms. Open this first website, click on sign in. All right. So here you can choose any template that you want. So we are interested with contact form. Let's go ahead, click on contact information. Now click on no thanks. So guys here you can add or remove any section that you want by selecting it or you can remove it or you can duplicate that section. Okay. Let's scroll down. I'm going to remove this phone number section or you can make any section required or you can make it unrequired by clicking on this button. Okay. Address is not required. Comment is required. Okay. For me, I think comment is required. Address is not required. Let me delete this address section. Okay. So this is my contact form. Okay. This is very simple and straightforward. When your customer fill this form, you will get their messages into this tab responses. Right now, there is no responses. Let's go to the settings tab. Here you can change any setting you want. But right now you don't have to change anything. This would be a simple contact form. Okay. If you would like to receive email notification when your customer fill this form, all you have to do, you can do one thing. You can add add-ons into this contact form which is free. Let me show you how you can do it. Let's go ahead click on this three dot and then click on add-ons and come over here and search for email notification. And now install this email notification add-ons by digital inspiration. Now click on install. Click continue. Select your Google account. Scroll down and then click on allow. Now click done. Now this add-on has been installed successfully. Let's close this. So now you can see we have this new icon. Let's click on add-ons. Then click on email notification for Google Forms. And now click on create email notification. So in the bottom right, you can see we have this Google Forms rule. So here we have to create a rule to do it. Just type your rule name. I'm going to type contact us, scroll down. Here you have to type your website name, scroll down and check this box and then click on this drop down button, select email. Now scroll down and then click on save rule. Now close this. Okay. Now we're done here. Let's go back to your Google sites. So in the contact us page, let's go ahead, click on forms. Here, select the contact form that we just created and click on insert. Now scroll down. Let's go ahead, increase the size of this form. All right, guys. So we are done with this page as well. If your customer or a visitor trying to contact you by filling this form, you will get email notification at your email address. And then you can reply to your customer by going to responses tab. Okay. So this is how you can create a contact page in Google Sites. Let's go ahead, click on Pages and click on Home. All right, so now we are going to add products into our e-commerce website. To do it, let's open a new tab and type this URL and press Enter. And you will land on this website. So guys here, let's go ahead, click on Get Started for Free. This is equid.com. Now you have to create an account. Just type your full name and your email and your password and then click on set up your store. Now we have to go through these four steps. You can select your country, your currency and then click next. Now type your city and select your state. I'm from Punjab and type your zip code and then click next. Now answer these three questions. Do you already have experience selling online? I'm just getting started. You can say. What type of product will you be selling? Apparel, shoes, accessories, something like that. You can choose any types of product from here. Okay. Are you setting up a store for someone else? No. Let's go ahead and click on next. Do you already have a website? Yes. What website platform do you use? 
so there is a no google site option so i'm gonna select other here i'm gonna type google site finally click on finish and proceed to dashboard so once you create your account let's go ahead and click on add your product or services okay so these are the dummy products or sample products so first of all you have to select all these products by checking this box and then click on delete all sample products by doing so you will delete all the sample or dummy products from your e-commerce website but i'm not gonna do it right now but let me show you how you can create a products and then i'll show you how you can add those products so right now we are using a free plan of this equate.com with this free plan we have some restrictions in a free plan we can add only 10 products if you go with these paid plans you can see we have more options more flexibility that we can use for our e-commerce website if you're just getting started or you want to test this equate services you can start with free plan once you're familiar with equate.com then you can go with these paid plans as well okay to create a new product let's go ahead and click on add new product first you have to upload your product image now select your product images and click open now type your product name you can type sq number if you have otherwise you can leave it blank now type the weight and here you have to type a description for your product right side you have to type the price for your product 500 rupees you can change the availability of your product by enable or disabling it so we are good here let's go to the attributes here you can create a new attributes if you want right now i'm not gonna do it let's go to options here you can add new options or variations for this product but unfortunately you cannot add this feature unless you have business plan okay let's go to the files again with free plan you cannot sell digital products you have to have venture plan or higher if you want to sell digital product on your e-commerce website next we have shipping and pickup everything is good here weight and dimension you can type the weight or dimension shipping rate here i'm gonna select free shipping here you can add different types of shipping rate for your product if you want but right now i'll stick with free shipping next we have seo this is also come with paid plan related product by clicking on assign products button you can assign more products with this product which is very useful next we have buy now button you can embed this single product anywhere on your website by clicking on embed product button okay but we're not gonna do it let's go ahead click on save so we are good here so we are good here let's go to the payments option so guys here by default you will see this option enabled which known as cash on delivery but i'm not gonna use it on my e-commerce website below that you can see we have stripe you can connect your stripe account with equate.com to receive a payment from your customer you can set up your pu money account so i like paypal which is international payment gateway so i'm gonna add this paypal payment option first of all you have to change your paypal account just type your let's type your paypal email and then click on enable paypal all right that simple we just added paypal payment gateway on equal.com so now your customer or your visitor can buy anything just by using paypal checkout okay now let's look at the shipping and pickup so here you have to add a shipping method let's go ahead and click on add shipping so i'm from india in india we have two popular options we have india post we have delivery i like delivery let's go ahead and click on setup delivery so here you can see we have different types of shipping rate we have free shipping we have condition for free shipping something like you can provide your customer free shipping only if the cart value more than this amount more than that amount something like that next you can apply flat rate or you can apply a custom rate it's all up to you but for my e-commerce website i'll go with free shipping let's click on free shipping and then click on finish all right guys so we have added a free shipping so now let's go to the dashboard now click on the second option add your store to a website or social network here click on custom website so now let's click on copy to clipboard now copy these text and let's go to the google site now hover your mouse over here and double click now select embed now click on embedded code and paste your code over here and click next and then click insert now scroll down 
Now increase the size of this box. Scroll down. By dragging these points, you can increase or decrease the size of your embedded code. And this is the product that we have added into our e-commerce website. But in your case, you have to delete all the sample products and add your own products, right? Next, we are going to add a newsletter section. But before that, let's add a text over here. Double click and click on text. Type your text, highlight it and align this into center. You can change the font. You can change the title. You can make it heading or title, whatever you want. Title would be fine. And now I'm going to drag and drop this text above this section. Okay. Let's change the color. Something like blue would be fine. Okay. So I'm good here. Next, I'm going to add a product search box. Let's go to equate control panel. Now scroll down. Here, you can add a shopping bag if you want, but I'm not going to do it. Let's go ahead and add a product search box. Click on add product search box and copy this code. Let's go to your Google site. Double click. Click on embed. Embedded code. Paste your code. Click next and then click on insert. Scroll down. You will see we have this product search box. Scale it down. Now I'm going to drag and drop this product search box over here. Maybe let's go ahead, insert this product search box under this section. So we are good here. Let's scroll down. So you can see we have our shopping bag, which is cart page or we have tracking order page. We have my account page as well. Below, we are going to add a newsletter section to do it. Let's go ahead, click on insert. So I'm going to insert this layout. Once you do it next, I'm going to remove this text box and this text box as well. Same thing from here in the left side. I'm going to upload an image. Let's go ahead. Click on this plus button. Click on upload. I'm going to select this image. Click open. So in the right side, I'm going to delete this section and now double click, click on embed. Click on embedded code. Here you have to paste your newsletter code. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's go ahead, open a new tab and type this URL and press enter. And you will land on this sendinblue.com. This is the best email marketing solution out there that allow you to send or collect emails that allow you to send or collect emails from your customer. First of all, you have to create an account with sendinblue. I already made an email marketing tutorial for beginners. You can watch this video or you can find the same video link in the description box of this video if you want to learn email marketing with Sendinblue. Once you create your email marketing account, then go ahead log in. So I'm going to log in. Type your email and password and then click on login. So once you log in, let's go ahead click on contacts and then click on forms. So guys here, you can select your newsletter form that you have created. Or you can create a new one by clicking on create a new subscription form. Let's go ahead click on create a new subscription form. Type your form name and then click next. So in the design part, you can start design your newsletter. You can add attributes, you can add single columns, text, images, so on and so forth. So I'm not gonna do it. If you wanna learn more about email marketing, go ahead check out my email marketing tutorial from the description box of this video. Anyways, now click next scroll down so guys here you have to add this newsletter form into your existing list or you can create a new list by clicking on create new list button type your list name and select your list folder and then click on create list and then click on next so guys here you have to select one of this confirmation method what should happen when a new visitor wants to subscribe to your newsletter you can go with double confirmation email or you can go with single confirmation email or maybe no confirmation email. It's all up to you. Once you choose one of this option, click on next. In the part five, we have this messages. You can change any of these messages if you want. By default, these are the good one. I'm happy with it. Let's go ahead and click on next. Finally, we have this code. But in our case, we need HTML code. Let's go ahead and click on HTML. Highlight it, copy it. Let's go to Google site. 
and paste your embedded code here and click next and then click insert now just drag and drop your newsletter form right here okay now we are going to change the color of this background let's change the size of this image all right so we are good here now next we are going to add another section to do it make sure you are in insert tab and then select this layout here let's go ahead upload images let's scale it down And below each image I'm gonna add some text I'm gonna make it bold next I'm gonna change the background color let's click on this button and click on image and click on select image go to search tab and type black click on search and select black image and click select all right and finally we are going to add a footer to do it let's go ahead click on add footer so here I'm gonna type a copyright text let's align this press enter now it's time to add important pages into our footer section to do it let's type about us now highlight this now click on this insert link now select about us page and then click on apply now type comma and spacebar now type privacy policy now highlight your privacy policy text insert a link now select your privacy policy page and click apply so in the same way you can add more important pages so i'm gonna speed this video up and i'll come back once i import all the pages here all right as you can see i have added important pages into the footer section of this e-commerce website now i'm gonna change the background color now click on this button scroll down and i'm gonna choose style 3 there we go all right guys so you can see we have successfully created this e-commerce website now if you want to add a specific product into specific category for example you want to add men's t-shirt into men's category all you have to do go to pages select the page where you want to add that product in our example let's expand t-shirts go to for men's here we are going to add a section let's go to insert you can choose any layout you want I'm gonna add this layout in the right side I'm gonna delete this section and I'm gonna delete this text box as well now let's double click anywhere then click on embed click on embedded code now leave this page as it is let's go to let's go to equid control panel now hover your mouse over catalog and then go to products now select any product now click on buy now button click on embed product and here you can choose any layout you want I'm gonna select one column layout and then click on generate code copy the code by clicking on copy code button and then go to Google sites and paste your code and click next and then click insert so this is the product now drag and drop the product over here you can increase the size of the product something like that in the left side you can add a design image which tells your customer about this product or maybe you can add some text anything you want okay so this is how you can add a single product into any specific category you can add different types of layout okay you can add button only you can add full size two column you can add full size three column something like that all right guys finally we have successfully designed our e-commerce website with google sites if you want to change your website name for free or you can say a domain name for free instead of this boring address all you have to do let's go ahead perform a google search for freenom freenom.com open up this website and here you have to click on sign in you can sign in with social icons you can sign in with google account or your facebook account since i already have account with freenom.com i'm gonna log in if you are getting any kind of problem with freenom.com i already made a separate video to solve all the problems with freenom.com you can watch this video to solve all the problems with freenom.com you can find this video link in the description box of this video as well anyways let's go ahead log in so you can see i have successfully logged in now click on this drop down button and then click on register a new domain now type your domain name 
and then click on check availability. So now you can see these are the free domains. If you scroll down, you can see these are the paid one. Since in this video, we are going to create a free website, we'll go with free domain. Now select one of them. I'm going to click on get it now and then click on check out. Now change this time period to 12 month free. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now check this box and click on complete order. All right, we have successfully placed an order. Let's go ahead and click on this drop down button and then click on my domains. So you can see we just bought this domain for free for 12 month. Now click on manage domain. Now click on manage free norm DNS. Now leave this page as it is. Let's go to Google sites. Now click on this gear icon and then click on custom domains. Now click on start setup. Now select first option and then click on next. Now type your domain name. Now click on verify your ownership. Now click on this drop down button. Scroll down and select other at the very bottom. And now click on add CNAME record and copy these records. Let's go to Freenom and change the type to CNAME. In the name field, paste this text. Let's go to Webmaster Center, copy the second text. Let's go back to Freenom. Under the target section, paste your text. Now click on add record. Now change the type to CNAME. Under the name field, type www. In the right side, type ghs.googlehosted.com. Once you do it, click on save changes. So you can see we have successfully added these records. Let's go to webmaster center. And here you have to wait for at least 10 to 15 minutes. And then you can click on verify. And I'll come back after 10 or 15 minutes. <coughs> 15 minutes later. All right, guys, after 15 minutes, let's go ahead, click on verify. All right, as you can see, our domain authority has been verified. Let's go to your Google sites. Now click here, press space bar and press back button. And now you can see our domain authority has been verified on Google sites as well. Now click on next. Now click done. So you can see we have successfully connected this domain with this Google site. But if you try to open your website, you will see this type of error message 404. To remove this error message, we have to install SSL certificate. To do it, let's open a new tab and perform a Google search for naked SSL and open first website. And now click on login. Now click on this register button and fill this registration form by typing your name, email and password and check this box and then click on register. Now naked SSL has sent you a verification email. Let's go to your mailbox. Now you will see naked SSL send us a verification email. Let's open it. Now click on confirm my account and your account will be confirmed. Let's close these tabs and now we are going to add a domain name. Let's go ahead click on add domain. Now type your domain name over here and then click next. Select Europe and then click next. And don't change anything over here, just click next. And finally click on DNS updated. And now you have to wait for a couple of hours. Your DNS record will be updated soon. Okay? Three or maybe four hours later, your domain will work properly. If you follow these videos step by step. If any case your domain still not work or if you are getting any kind of error message just drop a comment in the comment section below or you can send me a message on Instagram. I'll provide you my social media handles down below of this video. Alright guys that's the end of this video guys. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you really did don't forget to hit the like button that would be appreciated. And if you are still not subscribed to this channel yet. Go ahead subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press that bell icon with that whenever I upload a new video you will get notified right so that being said goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time.